Hi Aquarius, so we're going to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull cards for uh, how the world views you Aquarius. So that's, that's everybody, right? How does the world view Aquarius okay so the world views you as the four of wands and the seven of wands okay now how does your person of interest whoever you're coming to this reading for how does Aquarius person of interest view them the chariot card okay so they view you as a chariot and how does Aquarius view themselves how does Aquarius Okay, you got way too many cards, Aquarius. I know you think highly of yourself, but come on. Um, okay, all right, go with it. So you view yourself as the Queen of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles, all right. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so how the world views you, they see you as accomplished. Okay, four of wands, they see you as um, something coming full circle, reunion or celebration or, you know, you're in a very happy budding time in your life. Um, they see you as victorious, getting some public recognition, victory. You may have your own platform where people come to view you, get your advice or look, see what you're doing or yeah, people just view you as um, having it all together. Maybe even a girly girl if you are uh, a feminine energy, a woman. Um, somebody just sees you as um, highly accomplished. Coming out of something though, like maybe closing up some big project in your life um, and being so happy. Um, they see you as landing some big contract too getting getting contracts they see you as doing big things here but they also see you, the world sees you as guarded seven of wands they don't see you as open as you can't get too close they see you as very um careful of who you let in the world sees you as um fighting your position um being the advocate for yourself being proactive um maybe you don't let people in to your personal life too much or at all uh, maybe you already have protective measures, um, especially if you're a public figure. You just, you know, you can't really get to the Aquarius, you know, not easily. You're not easily accessible. Uh, that's how the world is seeing you. They're also seeing you as an advocate. They're seeing you as different. They're seeing you as um, standing alone. You are uh, willing to stand alone. For some of you, they're seeing you as a villain. Uh, for some of you, they're seeing you as, you know, activist, advocate stand in your position you're willing to take the minority uh position that means that everybody is on the other side the majority you'll take the minority position so they see you as having your own mind as going your own way they see you as some destructive influence on the world because it's like you you bring in that vibration of think for yourself you know of be yourself be an individual um, they see you as ready, yeah, as ready. You know what I'm saying? Ready to do the sparring, verbal sparring, physical sparring. I don't know um, if ever you know attacked or feeling attacked. Um, the Seven of Wands. They see you as maintaining your peace or your space or your little piece of space. Like they don't. They, the world sees you as like that's Aquarius over there they have built a big you know a, a, an empire for themselves they have a firm foundation if you go over there you're either gonna play nice or you're gonna leave you know it is what it is there's no in between um the world may see you as kind of black or white you know um it is what it is there is no in between funny that we say that we have the chariot card coming up as how your significant other or person of interest views you because we have the black horse and the white horse so they your person sees you again as black or white there's no in between there's no maybe there's no play in the field there's no coming back there's no um gray area with you it either is or it isn't they see you also highly 
you know, um, celebrated, accomplished, they see you really focused on short term goals. You know, you're not really focused on love so much. They see you um, having a level of um, victory, some, some success here. <laughs> they have you, they see you as being successful, victorious. Um, you could be into the esoteric astrology, um, something of that nature. That's how they view you. Um, they view you as calculated. They view you as um, like maybe you work out a lot or you take care of your body. You can um, you gain weight fast and you lose it fast with the chariot card here. So they see you as being able to kind of um, have balance, you know, uh, structure in your life. Uh, they see you as uh, needing power, you know, and being forceful. They see you as the underdog and coming up in, is very successful. This is how your significant other sees you. Um, how else do they see you? Not giving to anything but yourself right now. So they see you as closed off, self-directed, self-focused energy. It's just like, it just is what it is at this very moment. It's not going to be like that for the rest of your life. Not for all of you. Maybe it will be. But they just see you in that energy right now. Um, they see you as healing also. They see you as like the universe. Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button. And you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. It's propelling you, pushing you, um, maybe to the forefront, to the spotlight. Hmm. Okay. So this is how you see yourself, Aquarius. You see yourself as the queen of swords, the lovers, the lovers, and the queen of pentacles. So Aquarius, you see yourself as um definitely a doer the queens are the doers of the the tarot right so they're making things happen they're moving around so you see yourself it's rightfully dividing you give good advice um you hear people out you understand that you you respect opinions because everyone has one you you, you accept that everybody's opinion is valid it's not truth but it's valid um i think that's why some people come to you for advice because at least you will hear them out um you can rightly uh discern or you give uh right information because you're getting uh you're getting your judgment you're getting your knowledge from uh, the universe from spirit god uh the heavens um they see you as accomplished wise and executive or they see you as kind of as royal maybe even of royal blood you dress well you dress you look like royalty or money also um carry yourself in that manner too this is how you see yourself i'm sorry so this is how you see yourself um but this is how you're coming off to other people too uh you see yourself as rightfully dividing you know separating the old and going into the new understanding that you need to be after things that only benefit add benefit and value because that is what you're adding so you want something mutually beneficial uh, you see yourself as um, letting go of, you know, it's, you may even feel like you need counsel right now to move forward in whatever it is you're doing. You need some counseling, counsel. You need somebody to talk to. You see yourself as making a life altering choice, you know, change, maybe even in love or what you love to do. It could be career based. Also, you be, you're taking some systematic approach or you're trying to analyze, you know, what to do next. And that might be why you feel like you need counsel. You feel like you're on the right path or just you feel like you just need, you know, um, maybe even some advice from someone who is in the business. I don't know, whatever that may be. You see yourself as um, taking care of your body, looking well, dressing well, having a nice house, um, like home furnishings. Um, you could be a working mother. 
um, you, things are growing with you, nourishing. You see yourself as thinking of new ways to bring in more money, different streams of income, uh, lucky, fertile. Um, you see yourself as a good catch also, uh, valuable with the queen of pentacles. Uh, maybe you even like, um, do horticulture, gardening, or you can, you can just make stuff grow. You know how to make it grow. If you sit down and think about it, you can make it work. You can make it grow. Um, that's how you see yourself. Um, you see, you see yourself as a good mother also, um, this is how you see yourself, Aquarius. Very, very good. Um, you, you even see yourself as sexy here with the lovers coming out. Okay. Um, let's see why your significant other or the person that you're coming to the reading for, why they see you as the chariot. Why does... Okay. Um, why does their significant other or the person that they're coming to the reading for see them as a chariot? Why does this person see Aquarius as the chariot? Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, because you're not talking. You, you've isolated yourself. It was just too much misunderstanding, miscommunication, third party situation. Somebody letting a third party stir up drama and trouble in a relationship so maybe you just separated yourself from that and you just started to put your energy effort time into things that you can control which is career money yourself your body your physicality all of that so your person is seeing you is not really focused on love um yeah as maybe wanting to be a bachelorette or a bachelor or just um very quiet strategic um, 10 steps ahead again getting some divine um, intervention divine message they see you as fortunate after a very difficult they see you as a chariot because you you are fortunate now after a difficult time in your life difficult period they see you as reconciling accounts like you 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 know maybe you pay some things off they see you as um making good alliances also could be in career again you got the four wands this is why they see you as the chariot because you are some big accomplishment big contracts making the right connections with the right people maybe even getting a new house or getting a house or getting a home loan or remodeling rebuilding or something of that sort so they see you as just happy, wanting to just share the wealth, take loved ones out, treat them out with the four wands coming up. So with the lovers coming out, so they just see you as, um, again, making some life altering. This is called life alteration. So it's like you just completely restructure your life and they see you as a chariot because they see you that way because you're focused on that completely and maybe not giving to um, this love relationship anymore. Why does Aquarius see themselves as the Queen of Swords? Why does Aquarius see themselves as the Queen of Swords and the lovers? You could be also rightfully dividing or rightfully making a, a decision in terms of maybe some love relationship too. Why did it? Okay, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, because you've been disappointed, hurt, betrayed, backstabbed, backed against the corner, all of that stuff. Um and so you're just trying to make sure that you make the right choice of lover. You want to make sure that you don't give a certain person another chance um, so that they can stick another knife in your back so that they can betray you again. You just don't have any more to give to this or you don't have any more room to be hurt. Overly dramatic. You just, you can't deal. You feel like you just can't deal with this anymore. Um, that's why you see yourself as the queen of swords, as maybe cutting something off, cutting off communication. You just can't deal with the betrayal of maybe a masculine energy to ten of swords coming out. 
Now, masculine can be an actual woman, so it doesn't have to be that it was a man. Okay. Um, so you just see yourself as the queen of swords. Like I'm just not. I can't give this any time right now. Like I just can't. I just rather focus on something that I can't control. Let's see what else. Why does Aquarius see themselves as the queen of swords and the lovers showing up? Yeah, the knight of swords. Um, you focus focused on maybe some tunnel vision about some goal about achieving something you know you want to get this done the queen of cups so you got three queens out here you almost like the empress it's like you're trying to start something new and you know the only way to do that is to really be focused on that thing that one thing and not love children the house the dog the car the you know the everything else it's just like you really close down your emotions to almost everything especially a relationship uh, you don't trust someone from the past coming back or resurfacing or if you should resurface maybe that's why you're trying to get counsel like you're trying to get some type of um, second opinion about this like, yeah the queen okay the king and queen of cups coming out there's still love between you and someone else but you just don't trust it there's no trust there um, you've been hurt one too many times, disappointed one too many times. Um, so you see yourself as the queen of swords, all right? Why does the world see Aquarius as the four of wands and the seven of wands? Why does the world see Aquarius as the four of wands and the seven of wands? Why is, the, why is Aquarius not, why is Aquarius so accomplished but not open? Um, it's like you feel like you have to fight for what you have. Uh, you, you stay to yourself. You work really hard. Um, you may work for yourself. Um, you're trying to get some business off the ground. Get it to a self-sustaining energy. Um, therefore, you're very protective over it. This could even be work or not work, but this could be music. Page of Pentacles. Like you're trying to perfect something. You're consistently trying to do something. You're trying to grow it. Again, back to growth. Um, the divination tarot you may have the leg up in terms of you know what's going to happen because again you're speaking to spirit you know what's going to manifest yeah the justice card you just want to have complete balance in your life and maybe that's why you are uh, you put up the blockers of the boundaries with the seven of wands there um the world sees you as you know it's hard to maintain or it's hard firstly to get your attention and definitely to maintain it They see the world sees you as this way because um again you have good judgment, good karma. Um you do right, righteous, you are righteous. You don't sit in all these different circles. You may even be a loner, especially with the coming up as the chariot twice, right? No, or the four of wands. Um so the, the world is seeing you as not just easily accessible, not sitting in all these different friend groups and different circles. You kind of stay to yourself. You put up your boundaries. Um, you're cordial. You're nice, but you're not going to let anything disrupt or disturb you. Uh, you. You're willing to take the mi minority position there. You're not you're OK with the world being against you or against what you believe in or what you do or what you stand for and um, you're putting something out there to the world and it is what it is uh, it's like you have the backing of the universe spirit you understand that your power true power comes from the divine that's why you're able to rightfully divide or rightfully decide people come to you to make decision the chariot coming up again yeah so some of you just really focus on business matters yourself um getting some short-term goals accomplished and the only way you can do that is just be focused on you 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 um and that's how you're seeing yourself that's how the world is seeing you that's how your person is seeing you and then you also don't trust love right now you might be in a place of where you need to heal you don't trust some energy. It could be Libra. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, 
because they have always had this plural love. This is only the cup. He's got two cups, you know? So this person doesn't have like a singular love. Like it's not a love that's just for you. So you don't trust it. You, you don't want to be in third parties. You don't want to just have to feel like you have to go to war for somebody's affection or love. You could not be talking to this person also. That's why they feel like you're the chariot. The world just sees you as maintaining your own good. They see you as power, maybe by the universe. Yeah. They see you as balanced, poised. You don't let anything affect your judgment because the justice card talks about making the right decision because you're not swayed by beauty or, you know, any external. Again, true power comes from the divine. So it's like you, you, you got that, you're really commingled tied into divinity it's like in everything you do you go to your god your your divine source first and that's how the world is seeing you they're seeing you as completely balanced in your masculine energy um in in your institution like you've built something for yourself let's see what the future energies are for you aquarius it looks like you're going to have some type of big accomplishment. Um, you're going to be so happy when you accomplish this thing because it's going to allow you just to live life on your own terms. You're going to come out completely renewed. Let's see. Future energy for the Aquarius. I knew it. High honor. You're going to get. So this could, this is public recognition. This is an award, reward, celebration. Celebrating you though. You know, in your accomplishments. Um, let's see future energy for the queer. Yeah. Amongst your community, amongst your peers, people, you know, countrymen and, you know, all that, you know, amongst people around you, um, the main male, you may, um, get someone else to date or get a date or get someone new coming to your life. This man could be significant. If you're not into men, um, this man could be significant in your life, or maybe that's the archetype of you. You could be in your masculine energy. Um, toil and labor it's gonna be a, a lot of hard work um, but it's going to be worth it you know this is what you um, manifested something about down the assembly line i don't know if you have a product or something that you got in manufacturing yeah you got to get all this paperwork and pesky details all ironed out but it looks like you are you and your business and whatever you do is protected the uh, royal star of the lion um, success is um, assured and you are protected so that's really good with the 23 there um, I don't know if you're going to change the name of a business or you're changing something the formula whoa marriage change I said change name and then marriage came out some of you this main male might be significant for you with the courtship some relationship could come into your life and um, it's going to be the end of the coffin. It's going to be the end of singlehood for you. You're going to get married, be very fortunate, have great fortune with this person. I don't know if this person is going to be asking you or you asking this person to sign prenuptial agreement or sign something here. And maybe that's what the pesky details are here. What is, what is going on? Yeah. Um, main female wanted to flip out in reverse you got main male upright so some of you have to get divorced or you have to be available you have to be open you have to be open to a relationship why the main female okay i knew this was coming out sudden wealth you got great fortune and sudden wealth like all of a sudden everything that you manifest is going to be coming to you but be ready for it aquarius be open aquarius female be open, be ready, have your heart chakra healed because you don't want to miss out on this opportunity or you don't want to make it too hard um, to st for someone to stick around or be with you. Yeah, you don't want to miss out. Despair. All your dreams are coming true. What you thought was at a distant horizon is, is showing up right now. 
yep aquarius so keep that in mind be ready you do have a lot of energy from the first spread of just being focused on business and work and working out and be open be ready be smiling be dressed well be ready to meet your person this is what you manifest yeah seduction be ready flirt dating hooking up temptation okay if for some of you there was a third party in some old dynamic there but be ready um learn from the past and make new memories here with the camera coming out somebody could be reminiscing over you somebody's got some keepsake of yours maybe you know about it or you don't coffin coming out again the end the ending brings new beginnings liberation and trans uh transition some of you are you know this is the end of being stabbed in your back heartbreak and pain and separation the end of all of that you've done you've had enough of that you don't have to worry anymore aquarius everything that's coming into your life is being divinely guided so why would the universe the mic the mic went out for just a second okay so we're back on yeah um when you go out and try to get your person then yeah you you are weary of is this person gonna hurt me are they gonna stab me in my back but when you let the universe bring you somebody you are not worry about keys on the ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand yeah i just said that if you try to go get you somebody then maybe you could be dealing with somebody who is you know just got you as uh in the rotation as keys on a ring you know um but look what look what comes when you let the universe wedding rings union married soul connection eternal everlasting love um work on yourself do put the hammer on yourself because you came out aquarius feminine female you came out in the reverse don't sabotage this you know don't interrogate somebody um don't be repetitive in pushing someone away work on it you know work on yourself first yeah work on making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care and being happier make sure you're smiling you're looking good you're ready because it's coming aquarius it's what everything that you prayed and hoped for okay it's coming to you this is what i have for you male and female aquarius this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Do you see yourself as the Queen of Swords, as the lovers? Um, do you resonate with how people view you as the Four of Wands and the Seven of Wands? Um, get your own personal reading at the website level. Take advantage of the 50 off coupon. Get 50% off your reading. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.